Hey everyone, Tech Gamer here. I've gotten a bunch of questions from viewers asking whether or not the Thrustmaster T Flight HOTUS 1 flight stick will work with Microsoft's Xbox Cloud Gaming Services. The answer is yes, it does, and I'm going to show you how to make that happen. So, as always, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned, and let's do this. Okay, everyone, welcome back. So, Microsoft's Xbox Cloud Gaming Service does not natively support the Thrustmaster T Flight HOTUS 1. So, you have to use a third party software called World of Joysticks to make it work. So, I'm going to show you how you do that. So, the first thing we want to do is connect our Thrustmaster T Flight HOTUS 1 to your computer. You're going to use the USB cable and plug it into any available USB port, which I have done. Now, you can see the T Flight HOTUS 1 has appeared under other devices. So let's go ahead here and check the Xbox app. As you can see, it determined we can plug in the controller, but it shows as not connected. That is because it doesn't support the Thrustmaster T Flight HOTUS 1. So let's go ahead and acquire an app called World of Joysticks, and that will emulate a Microsoft Xbox controller. So you want to open up your web browser, go to Google, search World of Joysticks and press enter. And the first link will bring you to worldofjoysticks.com. I will also post this link in the description. I'm just gonna scroll down and click on download. And it's gonna give you a bunch of options here. We're gonna click on download WOJ X input emulator, and it's gonna download and save. This could take some time depending on your ISP speed. So what I do is make a new folder on the desktop so we can extract the zip. We'll call it World of Joysticks, spelled it correctly, <laughs> installers. And we'll go ahead and go to downloads and move the file from our downloads directory to the desktop. Go ahead here and open up this folder and we have the contents of the zip file. As you can see, there are a bunch of directories. The one we want is the WOJ X input emulator. So we'll run the installer and Windows protected my PC. So we have to hit more info, run anyway. So now we got the prompts. We're just gonna leave all the defaults. You can adjust the destination folder to your liking. And we're getting a black screen here because of the Windows prompt. So we're gonna hit close. Now the file has installed. As you can see on our desktop, we have the WOJ X input emulator. Same thing, we're getting the Windows prompt here. So here is the interface. So it's already opened up the T-Flight HOTUS 1 because it detected it is plugged in. So what you can do if you wanna open up a different configuration file or device is there's a bunch of them that are default. We're gonna select the Thrustmaster T-Flight stick, which we've already had open because it assigned, defaulted. And then you want to click on assignment wizard. So now what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to initialize. So you press a button. As you can see, we can see it moving. So we need to hit the buttons that correspond to the picture. So the Xbox button A, we pressed. Button B, we pressed. Button X, as you can see, we're just going through the list here. Button Y. Is down here. Button start. And there we go. Button back is over here. And the center button. Now this center button doesn't always work. On this, you can try and use a as pedal. Sometimes that makes it work. But in this case, it doesn't, um, I don't really need it anyway. I'm gonna be using the a keyboard and mouse connected as well. So we'll just skip that one. Now this configuration here is what I use. Um, you have to adjust this accordingly based on your preferences for your flight stick. So bumper left, we'll use up here. 
turn on as pedal. It essentially thinks it's a pedal. In this case, it is. Uh, the right, when they say a pedal, they mean a button that can be depressed, you know, harder, softer, etc. Button stick left. So for this, I'm not actually going to use anything. And button, flight stick button right. In this case, I'm just going to use as pedal here. And we'll shift it to the right a little bit. There we go. As you can see, it says pedal X plus. So when they say plus, they mean, you know, the definitions of how far you, which way you move the flight stick. But that's actually the wrong one. We want is depress. So I'm going to actually uh, switch this to, um, I'm thinking B2 up here. There we go. The point of view. I'm actually going to skip a bunch of these here. Because again, I'll keep the keyboard configured to work for various uh, point of view settings and all that stuff. So I'm going to skip most of these just by pressing the space bar on the keyboard. Or you can alternatively just use the mouse and keep hitting next. Now, again, like I said, you customize these based on what you want it to be. Um, it's different for everybody. So I'm just going with what I use. Flight stick. Corn on Xbox sticks right. So we'll move it that way. There we go. Down. Pedal. Pull, pedal. Yeah. And pedal RZ. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and save the configuration and we'll leave it as the default, hit save. So now, as you can see, we are good to go. The joysticks have been mapped to the Xbox button gamepad and you can see if we do various things, the numbers change, inputs change based on buttons, depressed, etc. You can see as I press various different buttons, we see it changing. Anything you press will basically correspond to an input. And then basically what it's gonna do is trick the Xbox Cloud Services app to think it's in Microsoft Xbox controller. This works in the Microsoft Xbox app or via a web browser. I typically would recommend if you are going to use a web browser to use Google Chrome. So let's go ahead here now and turn on the setting. So we are in playing mode, which means it is emulating the joystick. So now we need to check out our Xbox app, bring it back up here and see what happens when we go to cloud gaming. There we go. Our controller is connected. Now we have gotten the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 flight stick properly connected to the Microsoft Xbox cloud serve gaming app. This is great for when you want to play games that support the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 and still will be able to use a keyboard and mouse. As always, make sure you're running the latest version of the Microsoft Xbox apps, typically available in the Windows Store. As always, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please drop a comment on this video and I will do my best to get them answered. Thanks a lot everybody and have a great day.